Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning, happy Sunday. How are we all doing? What's up, Blue? What's up, Indy? The long lost Indy Castleton. The prodigal son returns. What's up, man? <laughs> Who chooses the music? I do. I have a custom Twitch stream playlist that I just put on random at the start of every stream. Yeah, Blue, that is really sad. I mentioned that on yesterday's stream that uh, Chadwick Boseman passed away, sadly. He was battling colon cancer for like four Ouch. months. Or not four months, four years, rather. Um, all of his big movies were made while he was sick with colon cancer, which is amazing. Like, what an inspiration, you know? Oh, hello. Settle down here. Settle down. Fuck cancer indeed. Yeah, were you jamming to that last song, Indy? That was actually a Nirvana song. A very uh, little-known Nirvana song, because it wasn't on any of their studio albums. I believe it was a B-side that ended up on one of their bootleg EPs. It's called Even In His Youth. And it's one of my favorite Nirvana songs that nobody knows about, because it just didn't come out at the time that they were big. But it's awesome. Yep, so you guys, as you can see, I've already got the game booted up today, luckily. We don't have to screw around with waiting for all that. <laughs> I've got one skill point. I don't think that'll buy me anything at this point. Yeah. Going forward, we're going to need twos and threes. Now, we did a lot of side quests yesterday. And I do want to do a decent job of staying on top of these, but I also want to make some progress today, too. Dale, what's up, buddy? Uh, no, we, we just started like a minute ago. Uh, what, what's going on with my mic? Does my mic not sound right? What's what's going on? Why, why are you saying that? Do I sound off? Maybe it's your laptop. <coughs> also, I apologize in advance, guys. The cough is really bad today. Oh, Jesus. Um, sounds good on Indie Sand? Okay. Your uncle got to see Nirvana in 1993? Dude, I am so insanely jealous. That That is literally my biggest regret in my life, is that I was born just a little too late to see Nirvana live. All I can do is watch the videos and just be amazed. Um, it was your laptop? Good, good. <laughs> Lately, um, I've been watching this Nirvana show called uh, Live and Loud. It was recorded by MTV. Um, like, very late in 19, 1993. It's an incredible show. Every single song, they're just fucking killing it. They were just on fire that night. It's such a good show. Anyways. What is this one? I don't even remember picking this up, but... Let's see where this takes us. Up into Mother's Crown. Okay. Okay. I think we're kind of going that way anyway. We do have some stuff back here that we need to clear up. Just like a vantage point and a metal flower. Uh, we'll definitely do that at some point. I think for now, we can let that stuff lie. We'll get back to it later. Yeah, I know you are, Indy. <laughs> That sounds crazy, Blue. I've never heard about anything like that. <laughs> I wonder if I still have my mount. No, of course not. Oh, 
grazer. Just a bunch of grazers. No problem, man. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it, but so far this is actually running pretty nice. Normally when we first boot up, it's like complete garbage. And then it kind of steadies out, but this is actually going pretty nice right now. There has not been a new patch, I confirm that. We've only had two patches so far. And neither of them were really performance patches, they were both to address the crashes that people were having. So really we shouldn't expect any increase in performance yet, because they have not done any work towards that. <laughs> this must be Mother's crown. So I should be around here somewhere. Hmm, okay. There's a couple different folks around here. Drawl? What happened to you, Hunter? Are you alright? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. The hell's a cauldron? A cauldron? What's that? Ah, you're from inside the embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. Of, of course they are. But not to a seeker, bitch. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. There's a reason the Matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. Mm. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. But for a moment you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. That's not how logic works, but okay. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is you shouldn't. I'm gonna. You describe the place I should avoid. <laughs> You're a clever one. But not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. That was clever. Fine. You're grown. I can't stop you. <coughs> it's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. Great, thanks. But there's so many forbidden places, guys. Which one could she possibly be talking about? There's just so many the of them. Girl. Back on her feet. Some things are beyond Who's this guy? Den? You're the seeker. The one who was an outcast. My hunting party, my party has... You fought the killers, didn't you? The ones that attacked in the Proving. You saved many lives. I wish I could have saved everyone. Did you... Did you... How far did you follow the killers? What are you getting at? Are you worried your hunting party has been killed? There are worse things than being killed. That's probably true. You know, eternal suffering would be worse than just being killed. What was your hunting party doing? After the proving, we were so angry. We wanted to strike back. And those corrupted machines left tracks we could follow. We caught up to them at dusk. We fought with all our burning hatred. But in the dark and chaos, I... I couldn't see everything. They stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, but my party is... Your party is... Gone. They're dead. What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. Really? I'm afraid... 
my friends went into the ruins. I can't go there or I will be cast out. But I can't abandon them either. That's... Okay, this guy's an idiot. What's a town without no ducks? What's up, man? That's a cool name. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the stream. How are you? Tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Find my friends. We were so eager to fight the corrupted machines, we didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please, have pity on us. That's where we just were. Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing to worry about on that end, trust me. I'll see what I can do about your friends. Interesting. I'm doing all right today. Um, a little tired, didn't get to sleep in as much as I wanted. And my cough is really bad, but other than that, you know, it's a nice chill Sunday. And she's back. Unharmed. Where's that cauldron again? North of here, past the Red Drifts. I'll be on my way. I tell you to be careful, but the words would be wasted. I definitely want to check that out. That sounds really interesting, the cauldron. And yeah, we're a little bit farther than YouTube at this point. Not crazy far. Maybe a couple hours. I don't even think we're actually any any further story-wise. We've definitely done more side quests, though. Oh, it's you. The outcast turned seeker. I've heard you're good with bow and spear. You know, some even say you're the best. Damn right. I think I hear a challenge in there somewhere. And I'm not interested. I have more important things to do. <laughs> oh, I see. The Seeker doesn't have time for us lesser Nora. No. Too busy hunting machines and marauders. Well, I can't claim to have faced the corrupted or danced with demons. But I have earned a few sons at the hunting grounds at Valley Meat. Have you? Or maybe your Seeking hasn't taken you that far. Why is every person such an asshole in this game? I swear to God. We've done trials. I don't think we went to that specific place, though. You went to a hunting grounds in Valley Meat. Is that even in the Sacred Lands? Depends on who you ask. It used to be ours, but since the Red Raids ended, the border is a bit... <clears throat> unclear. Most Nora don't go there, but the Matriarchs won't cast anyone out for heading that way. As for the hunting grounds, the Keeper's a Karja. He can't refuse anyone the trials, but don't come on too strong. <laughs> He's so afraid of the Nora, he might jump out of his skin. <laughs> Alright, so let me make sure I've got this right, guys. In terms of uh, some of the references they just made there. So the Red Raids were what was going on. Um, I'm not sure how long ago. Maybe 15, 20 years ago. When the Karja were ruled by this Sun King guy. And the machines started going crazy and becoming hostile to people. So the Sun King decided he had to start raiding other villages to get people to sacrifice towards the sun to appease the machines. And that's what the Red Raids were. And then eventually his son overthrew him and was like, you're crazy, we gotta stop doing this. And now he's trying to make peace with everyone else after overthrowing his crazy dad. Do I have all that correct? I think I do. How did you win those sons? I took down machines with three different types of arrows. Freeze, shock, and fire. If you aim to take a trial, you'd better come equipped. But I'm sure a seeker is always prepared, right? Yes, just like the Boy Scouts. Do you try to provoke everyone you talk to? Only seekers with red hair and big reputations. And how often do they come around? You're the first I've seen today. If your seeking takes you to the hunting grounds, see if you can earn a blazing sun. If you do, you'll know you beat me. Consider it done. Uh, I was wondering what you meant by that, Indy, when you said it's better this time around. Yeah, it's always nicer to be able to watch stuff all at once without having to wait for updates, especially on a series that long. I honestly don't remember um, how much time there was between the first episode of Zelda and the last episode of Zelda, but it was like over a year, I think. Brave! Mother's crown could make use of your bow. Me? Well, you are a brave, aren't you? We need boar skins. 
our Stitcher works his hands raw repairing cloaks and armor. There's good boar hunting to the east, past the falls, but there's a machine out there now. Thanks, Blue. Appreciate that. When I saw it, I dropped the hunt, ran for cover, knocked an arrow, but then I... No shame in living to fight another day. No, it's... My ring had come loose. That was my luck in the wild. My mother's mother's prized from a machine's jaws long past. You put that much trust in a ring? After all that's happened, I need luck as much as the tribe needs those skins. <laughs> I'll see what I can find. If you can help, you have my thanks. I'll be at the campfire when you come by again. So wait, this guy literally just wants me to go find a bunch of skins and a ring? What is this? Fucking World of Warcraft? Go hunt ten beaver pelts and then come back. The border is closed. Well, like how I said that I wanted to focus on the main quest and then we come to a place that gives me like 18,000 side quests. Um, Alright, these are some level 10 ones. Daughter's Vengeance is level 15, but we're also like right here. So let's just talk to this lady while we're here at least. Are you Salai? Yon said your niece may have come through here. Nikoa. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Yon wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. I... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Day Tower looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. Day Tower? Is there anything you can tell me about Day Tower? It's a Karja fort, right at the border. Bastards used to gather Nora captives there, so they could ship them to Meridian for slaughter. I told Nikoa not to go. What's a lone Nora gonna do there? But she wouldn't listen. All she can think about is finding Zaid. Isn't that the name of one of the guys from Mass Effect 2? <laughs> Zaid. What do you know of Zaid? He's a rabid animal. A murderer. The worst of the Red Raiders. Killed my brother while poor Nikoa watched from the shadows. Oof. Even as I begged her not to go, Part of me <coughs> I need him dead as much as she does. You can't imagine what it's like. He... He mutilated my brother. And yet he walks free among the Karja. I understand. Better than you think. I'll look for Nakoa when I reach Day Tower. I'm not sure you can reach it. I've heard they closed the gates because of this... This... Corruption among the machines. But Morea might know more. Just don't mention why you're asking. I won't. I promise. Sounds complicated. I don't know if I really feel like dealing with all that right now. What is all the way up there? Going for a climb, guys. Okay, I just skipped that one down there completely. Works for me. Like a big lookout tower. Save this for later. Whoa, I didn't mean to run that far over. Thought I was gonna die for a second there. So this is This is like the dividing wall leading all the way. Man, look how far away the next leg of this quest is. Holy crap. This map is actually like really massive. Man, okay, I wonder if I can jump down here and find a find a fire real quick. That way we can fast travel back at our leisure. I just um I think we should go back and do those level 10 quests. While it might be somewhat of a challenge for us. Can I access that? Looks like maybe I can. Let's go up and around. Uh, 
Oh, wait, that's one I've already lit, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> it just leads around back to the entrance. That's cool. All right, let's quick save there. And then... We've got Sanctuary and Luck of the Hunt. A hunter and mother's crown as able to assist with gathering boar skins, right? It's the MMO quest. And then Den's fellow brave straight into the Forbidden Ruins of Devil's Thirst. That's weird, because I didn't see them, and I spent a lot of time there yesterday. As a seeker, Aloy could look for them without breaking Nora Taboo. Have the same rewards. I'm just going to pick one. This one's closer. Let's uh, activate this. And... Pop over and look. We'll keep an eye out for striders along the way. Although I don't really seem to encounter a lot of them outside of their specific nesting grounds. That's a scrapper. Yeah, they're not gonna help me. Wee! All right, so we gotta gather boar skins and find the ring. And there's just a lot going on here. We've got watchers, we've got grazers. You know what we should do? A little bit of this. Gotcha. Blow them all up. Come on. I was gonna say, he's almost dead. Just get him. Alright, that certainly thinned the herd a wee bit. I hate it when they solar flare me like that. Oh shit. I need it. Do I want to start investing in the horse call skill? It was pretty useless to you. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I gotta go over the skills once I get another skill point and see what I want to go for. Uh, Indy, the name of that Nirvana song was Even in His Youth. Should be very available on YouTube if you just search for that. Why are there two different areas here? Okay, this is the one for the ring. Gotcha. Saving these for the trail. It's probably going to be on top of this thing, right? Because that's like the biggest pain in the ass. It's climbing up here. Really, you don't get flared if you dodge? Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but... I'll, uh, I'll try to incorporate that. You shouldn't get flared if you close your eyes. No space. Oh no, mods are full. Really? Because last time I tried to use mods, I didn't even have any. I guess I do have a fair amount now here. I can disassemble these, too. How would a ring get there? I don't fucking know, man. You could come up with any number of reasons why somebody might have carried it up there and then dropped it. It's a video game, dude. Um... Hmm. Well, let's see which ones I want to equip first. I don't remember how to do that. It's something stupid, right? It's under crafting, I think? Yeah. All right, so for the shot caster, or the, the trip caster, we could do plus 12% shock, plus 39 handling, or, and plus 8 tear. 
or plus nine handling. Okay, well, it seems like we probably want this one, right? Seems like the thing to do. And then for this, handling or tear. What, is, what does tear mean in this context? Like a greater chance of ripping off components, I guess? I'll just go with handling. It knocks off parts of the machines. Oh, that could be good too. Yeah, let's do that. I don't really have a problem with the handling, to be honest. So, whatever. Then on this one... Um, right now I've got 11% damage. None of this looks better. 5% damage. Well, we could bump it up to 7% at least. All right. Tear is very, very useful later. Gotcha, okay. All right, so I've got everything that I care about equipped, which means I should probably just break down the rest of them, right? Maybe save the blue level ones for now. for when I can use them. <coughs> uh, sure, Dale. Oh, handling is reload speed. Oh, I didn't know that. That actually would help a lot, because I have noticed that the draw speed on the bow is a little too slow for my liking. When you can knock some heavy-duty guns off of the machines that shoot at you. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good to know. One thing that is weird though, so like, these mods aren't able to just be used on any weapon, right? They're all weapon specific as far as I can tell, but it doesn't seem to tell you which weapon these are for. If I just go in here and look at these, it's like... These are for my outfit? How would I know that? Well, shit. Why can't I use one on this outfit then? Craft it. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's so annoying. Alright, um, resist corruption, resist freeze, resist melee. We probably want to use this blue one. Alright, we'll throw that on. And then we'll break down the rest. Good enough. Tear coil modification. The symbol around it. All right, I'll look for that later. My focus could find something I've missed. Yes, and a vantage point would help greatly. One would assume. Box. Hmm. It's heavy. The world's going white. Well. Nothing's jumping out at me here. Okay, that, 
Something at eight. There we go. That's got to be it, right? Or skin. My focus might see something here. In the ring. Something caught in its throat. Let's see here. Well, uh, that would be Tim's ring. Each mod variety has differences. Yeah, I guess I just haven't looked at those enough to know the difference yet. I do think... Look, look I don't... I, I like this game and everything. It's a good game. I do think that the menus... could be better. In terms of, like... structure, organization... I, I think they're a little weird. Is that a fucking sawtooth? Jesus, why is there a sawtooth here? Save these for the trail. Okay. Um, I guess we should take this thing out so we can boar hunt in peace, right? <laughs> Your brother brought you a SNES you had when you were five? Dude, that's awesome. The thing that sucks about having a SNES now, though, is that, like, how many people have TVs that you can actually play them on? You have to get, like, an adapter or have, like, an old CRT TV. And one of these. Where'd that sawtooth go? I'm, like, legit scared to piss that thing off. Yay, medicine pouch is full. Okay. There's a boar. There's a boar. We'll see how long the tags last, because I actually have no idea. Okay, I need a stronger bow. Low and quiet does it. Sucks that it takes three arrows to kill a boar. After you shot him in the head. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't mean to do that! I thought I was on rocks. Ah, shit. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I just whistled at a sawtooth. Although, can you do... Can you do a, a, a silent strike on a Sawtooth? That actually... That intrigues me a little bit. Yeah! But it's not enough to kill him. Okay! Okay, fill up the circle. Fill up the circle. Yeah! Now what? Critical hit? Okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, Jesus. Come on, man. Okay, okay. I tried to do something cool there. Couldn't quite pull it off. <laughs> Sadly. Oh. Got him. Those fights are intense, though. Oh, it does work on your TV? Nice. Yep, 
Yeah, I'll take a Sawtooth Heart. Okay, what happened to that boar I killed? I lost it. But there's plenty of boar around here. That's no big deal, I guess. That's kind of cool. I like how you can use the rope caster to, uh... You can use it as, like, a... An intermediate kind of thing to kind of hold it in place for... A second, you know, it kind of tethers into that spot. And it seems to hold for a little bit. And then I guess if you keep filling that meter up, that's when it gets, like, completely immobilized. And you get a free critical hit. But obviously, you don't have to do that, you know. I like that there's, like, some strategy involved in that. Back here, you little bastard. You're making me waste arrows on you. This'll last. Hey, Nacho Libre, what's up, man? Thanks for coming out. Return to this person. That seems like a fast travel scenario to me. No point in having the fast travel packs if you don't use them, right, guys? If you don't strike the machines, it holds for longer. So if you're surrounded and want to take some out of the equation for a while, gotcha. That makes sense. Good hunting, I hope. I've brought you the boar skins and your lucky ring, Tame. All mother be praised. And you, uh, of course. Where did you find it? Halfway down a boar's gullet. Not so lucky for the boar. I think I'll wear it around my neck from now on. Nice. We obtained a generous reward box, guys. How many of those reward boxes do I have right now? Probably a bunch. Treasure boxes? Alright, some of these just have potions in them. And I will actually save those. Because that's kind of like having free extra space to carry the potions, which is nice. Uh, I'm doing... I'm doing alright today, man. Um, the cough's kind of bad. But otherwise, you know, I'm just chilling. I'm chilling. Do I have a lot more Twitch followers since last month? Um, no. Not a ton more. There was a while there where I, I was barely streaming at all, and I wasn't getting a lot of new followers, and I lost most of my subs. But it's starting to come back. Alright, so that quest is out of the way, right? Yeah. Next up is Sanctuary. This is back at Devil's Thirst, where we were... Yesterday. Alright, let's go, uh... Let's go knock this out. It sucks that I can't fast travel to that. But whatever. <laughs> you have eight, so you got that going for you as well. Very nice. Watch out for that storm, Blue. Guys, seriously, I don't know what's going on because... Literally nothing has changed since yesterday in terms of this game or my uh, computer setup, but it's just running way better today. Like, it almost feels the way it's supposed to. Certainly not perfect, alright? 
but just like way better than it has been. Okay. Oh, hey, Nacho, if you want to let people know that you're here, but you're in lurk mode, you can type exclamation mark lurk into chat. It's fun. Never know when I might need these. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> I will also say, um, I don't know if this is true, guys, but one of my streamer buddies, who goes by the name Lion Gamer, he's a really cool dude, he told me that if you have somebody who wants to have your stream up and running in the background, even if they're not necessarily watching, just so they can have that support going for you, um, apparently that doesn't work if you mute the stream. If you mute the stream and leave it up, it doesn't count as a view. So, if you guys are interested in giving me that view, even if you're not going to be here watching, just make sure you leave at least a little bit on the volume. That way Twitch still counts it. And know that I appreciate it. It's a little crafty, isn't it? The way they, uh... The way they get you on that. <laughs> Kill the salt? What the fuck? More salt tooths? Oh my dear sweet god. Okay. You gotta have it to minimum volume. Yeah, that's that's what Lion Gamer said. And I was like, you crafty bastards. So this seems like a great spot to actually use a roadcaster. <laughs> Someone's still there. But we gotta lure one out, I think. Might be a good spot for some trip caster usage as well. That should be enough to get me started, I think. Still there. Okay. I'm curious if the cauldron's reset for New Game Plus. I don't even know what a cauldron is yet, so. Maybe there's a way to override them, but where would I find it? Oh, I want to override a sawtooth, guys. I want to override a sawtooth so bad. God damn it. Come on, come on, baby. Got him. Okay. Now you. Come on over here, fart knocker. Wow, he didn't care about that fucking trip shot at all. Is that a joke? What the fuck is that shit? Dude, he ran right through it. Oh, for Jesus Christ's sakes. Fuck you, dude. Oh! That blew up on me. Oh! 
Oh, it hurts. Come on, man. Jesus. It didn't even give me a heart for that. Are you fucking joking me right now? Let me out of here! <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't. Don't, don't do it to me, bro. Don't do it. Okay, what is the point of the Tripcaster? That thing sucks shit. It doesn't work. Fuck this shit, man. Oh, give me a break. I'm dying over here. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Great. And now you show up. Fuck me. Little bitches. Jesus. That did it. That was fucked, everybody. That was super fucked. Plus 40% fire coil. Hey. Sounds kind of nice. Gonus, what's up, man? Thanks for dropping in. Get that sharp shot bow. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using the ropes. That's actually uh, really nice. I actually like this weapon a lot. I'd like to get a better version of it. Now, let me double check real quick. So, I, I'm gonna assume that was... No? I thought that would have been an upgrade for the... Rope Caster. Maybe it's for the Trip Caster? No? It's for the bow, okay. But if I use this in here, I won't be able to use it on a better bow later. So, I sh should probably not use this right here, right? I think I'll save that one. Seriously, does anybody know, like, what the point of the Tripcaster is? Because it seems to only work sometimes on things like our Sawtooth buddies here. that for later. You're saying, are, Dale, are you saying that I'll get mods that are just as good, if not better, than that one anyway? So I should, so I might as well just use it right now? Is that my understanding? Just as good for sure. Alright, I'll, I'll put my faith in you. These are both the same. No, this one's 7%, so let's override this one. And now, the plus 40% fire. I assume that doesn't work on every arrow. It just makes the fire arrows that much better, right? It doesn't add fire to everything.
Doesn't seem like it. Never use the tripcaster outside of very specific situations. Yeah, I wasn't even trying to use it against multiple enemies, Gonus. It was just the Sawtooth. And, like, it worked... It worked, like, twice, and then it didn't work twice. Oh, you're that brave who was outcast. What are you doing here? Your friend Den told me to come find you. Why are you up there? The Sawtooth ripped our packs from us. Uh, uh, me. Us. Without weapons, this was the best we could manage. Thank you so much for destroying it. Now we can get home. One thing, you won't tell anyone you saw us here, will you? I didn't. At least, not your friend. Need any help getting down? We'll go back on our own. Don't take this the wrong way, but maybe we shouldn't be seen with you, or they might figure us out. Story of my life. <sighs> well, yeah, I know that they're not weak to shock, but they don't have a resistance to it either, do they? And also, why would it work half the time and then not the other half? It's, it's just, it seems like one of those things that's inconsistent. And you guys know me, I don't like inconsistency in games. I, I can't, I can't get down with that. Like, I've, I've got to know. I've got to know what the underlying mechanism is that determines whether it's going to work or not. <laughs> I found your friends, you know where. They'll be back shortly. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a relief. You won't tell anyone, will you? Relax. The matriarchs are up singing the Hymn of Atonement. I think you're safe. <laughs> you're right. The Hymn atones for all of us. Thank you. That's not what I meant, but okay. <laughs> Uh, Aloy's a lady after my own heart. I love her. Oh, so it didn't fill up the shock meter? So I guess you have to hit a sawtooth with that twice to fill up the meter? I, that would that would be logical. I could I could understand that. Since it is such a large enemy, I guess if you could just keep shock trapping it over and over again, that would kind of ruin the encounter. Sounds good, Indy. Thanks for the lurk, man. It is appreciated. And yeah, I saw when it would, like, it would jump over it, but it also detonated the trap at the same time. So, like, I was thinking, is it the kind of thing where if they jump over it, it trips the trap, but they don't get caught in it? And if that's the case, like, it's just way too unreliable to use, you know? <sighs> well, I hope you're looking to buy. I could use the shards. Oh, this guy's got a dialogue. See anything you like? Sure you do. Alright, um... This guy... He's got the Shadow Sling. I'm still missing the Crystal Braiding. So you guys are saying I should get this green Sharp Shot Bow? There's a blue one as well, but I figure we skip that one. Wait for the purple one to show up. This thing is dirt cheap. It's only 105 shards. That's nothing to me at this point, so. We also have the war bow. This fires elemental payloads. Hmm. Wait or buy the best. Well, this one is more metal shards. And metal burn. Ten metal burns, which... Uh, yeah, I guess. Alright. This goes against all the advice I got, but... I'm, I'm gonna take your word for it. Buy a blue one. I'm heading for the border. You're a traitor? What do you know of the Karja tribe, or their capital, Meridian? I've never left our sacred land, but I've traded with Karja outlanders from time to time. Too fancy for their own good, if you ask me. 
As for Meridian, it's all they talk about. A city built atop a mesa with soaring towers high as mountains. Sounds cool. How did the Karja ever come to build such marvels? Slave labor. But their new king has forbidden slavery. <laughs> I guess he cares more about justice than new construction. Huh? What a dick. <laughs> kidding me? See anything you like? Uh, let's also see if we can sell anything while we're in here. Uh, yep. See, like this stuff, you should be able to just organize this into stuff that's only good for selling instead of having to go through and check every single one every single time. Or just have like a sell junk button, you know? Like that's a quality of life thing that a game with this much crap in the inventory should really have. It's overall a minor complaint. Still love the game, but you know, we got to point out ways in which it could be better. It's part of what we do. And then as far as outfits go, which one did I want first? I wanted that stealth one, didn't I? Right, but we need a bellow back heart. Okay. Am I using the flowers? I don't freaking know. Oh, I haven't used any of these traps either. Antidote. Corruption resistance for 60 seconds. Okay. I've also got detonating blast traps. Regular blast traps. Shock traps. Health boost potion. This boosts our health by 150. Oh, nice. Okay. Are you talking about these flowers here? Glaze roots and kiln roots. And freeze rhyme roots. Use them to make more potions. Oh. I think I'll hold on to them for now, because I'm not sure how much potion crafting I'm gonna be doing. Well, I'll be off. I hope business picks up. Thanks. Me too. And I don't really need the extra shards right now. New tutorial. What the fuck is this? Dude, are you kidding me? I've had tutorials in here for this stuff. That would give me XP. I just gotta do... I just gotta kill a certain number of things. Trip machines with shock wires. You never use potions? Hmm. There's so much in this game. Like, I feel like I'm being pulled in like 18 million different directions all the time. We're not doing the, the, the hunting lodge stuff right now because we needed something for that at the sling, I think. And then we have this one. A young Nora worried about her sister. Okay. That's all the way over there. That's good, because that's kind of where I wanted to go anyway. I wanted to get to some new areas today. So let's head off in that direction and maybe we'll be able to do some of these tutorials along the way. Now we've got precision arrows and terra blast arrows. Terra blast. Huh. So that's a specific kind of elemental damage, right? Have to look out for that, I guess. Do I have to, or do I think there will be The Last of Us 3? Honestly, I have no idea, man. I think that 
I don't think that they would be opposed to making a Last of Us 3 if Neil Druckmann comes up with a story that he thinks is strong enough. I could see them doing it. But if he decides to focus on something else, if he gets another idea, then I could just as easily see him focusing on that instead. I think it really is just going to depend on what pops into that guy's head next. Because I'm pretty sure he has almost complete autonomy to kind of do whatever he wants. Good for knocking parts off machines. Okay. Corrupted zone discovered. What is this? How can there still be more things we're discovering in this game? It's just like, there's so much. Can't be too prepared. What might that be? A shell walker. <laughs> okay. Let's check out the notebook on this guy. Hard outer casing to protect synthetic muscle and operational systems. No weaknesses. And strong against shock, so... <sighs> wow. That's just the body. Okay, hold up. Crate holders... Lightning gun. His claw is weak to tear. Look at that. And so is the other claw. Okay. Luminous braiding. Some other stuff. Okay, we might need some of this. Power generator. Okay, so we want to use these and try and hit them on the claws. And hope that all hell doesn't break loose. After we hit them with this. Hold up. Deal with them quickly. Whoa. Dude, what the hell? That's a weird effect. Did he put his claws away? I can't see... I can't see him now. Okay, this is creepy. Get away from me. Get away from me. Ah! Dude, did he put his claws away so I can't do that anymore? Oh, there it was. That wasn't so bad. Oh, I knocked him off. Oh, that's... Okay. Got it, got it, got it. You can't see it ending the way it did. I don't know. I honestly, I... Once I had time to settle and digest the ending, I didn't hate it as much as everyone else did. I understand why people hated it. But I, I think it. I think it was generally okay. Got another fucking sawtooth here. I don't really want to fight this guy. I'll have to find out where they came from. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. I am uh, running a little low on health right now. I need help. Help. I, I don't want to go down like this. What? All right, dude, I got you. Red Eye Watcher. That's a new kind of watcher. Thank you for saving me. It's humbling. You stay the hell over there. Thank you. Praise all mother. Oh, thank you. That's it. 
I'll train hard so I can take care of myself from now on. Thank you. That guy just... Okay, we just saved him and that's the end of it. <laughs> Works for me. What is this corrupted area they were talking about? Corrupted zone level 15. What do we do about that? That's all the way back there, though. Let's stop off and look for this metal flower over here. Didn't hate it, but there's got to be more with Ellie. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about what she would do after that ending. Like, where does she go from there? Kind of seems like the whole world's open to her at that point. These are helpful. Better though. Broadhead? Oh man, we're finding all kinds of new stuff here, guys. They've got a blaze canister. And horns are weak to tear. I just came for my flower, so... There we go. This is kind of kooky, being out here at night and seeing their, their lights light up like that. Oh, also, I leveled up. Alright, so... We can get strike from above. We can get balanced aim. Low profile. That's probably what we want right there is low profile. Heavy lifter. Precise spear attacks. Combat override. This would be good if I actually could override stuff reliably, but all I can do right now is striders, and I never see those. Extra resources from scavenging. And repair a damage mount. Again, not helpful right now. I'm thinking low profile. That seems like an all around, very useful thing to have. Campfire discovered. Yeah, with about 6,000 machines right next to it. A lance horn? Well, that's a freeze canister. Sometimes it's too hard to target these things. It's kind of annoying. Let's get this over with. Wow, that does really good damage though. Pop that save real quick. Just like stop taking damage. That was crazy. Uh. Dude. Yeah, there it is. Look at all this stuff. Oh, sounds good, Indy. Thanks for, thanks for uh, coming out, man. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. At 
These things aren't exactly cheap to craft. Whatever that third component there is, I don't have a ton of them, actually. Let's try and get some of these tutorials done. Whoa, come on, man. Is that... is that even counting? Because I've done this before. Do I have to activate it before this works? Well, why do I have to have the quest active? That's... I don't understand why that would have to be the case. That's stupid. Don't yell at me, because this game has some poor design decisions, okay? In any other game in the universe, that would not be the case. You would not have to do that. Buddy. Uh, it's right here. Yeah. Okay, got that one. I just want to try and knock these out so they're not looming over me. Small machines like watchers, grazers, lance horns, striders, broadheads, chargers, scrappers, and glenhawks. Holy shit. Chill. Chill. Where's my critical hit? Oh, Jesus, man. Woo! There's three of those. Okay, all right. Where did you come from? God damn it. It's too much going on here. Blow up. Idiot. Whew. This is one of those games where, uh, all of a sudden, Things just get, like, really difficult out of nowhere. Remember a couple hours ago when I was just saying, like, this game isn't really that hard. I can just run around and melee stuff all day long and it doesn't really matter. Then all of a sudden you come to this area and you try to engage one machine and, like, eight more just show up. And they're really hard to dodge and they all have different strengths and weaknesses. This isn't me bitching. By the way, I'm just I'm just saying it's it's funny like how quickly it goes from you don't even have to try to you really have to try like you really have to be paying attention. It's it's a very sudden thing. Whew, okay, what else do we got here? 
Level 18. Doesn't seem like we would really need to be 18 to do that, but, uh... Kill watchers using precision... Excuse me. Precision arrow shots to the eye. Maybe if we can find some... Watchers nearby, we can clean that one up real quick. Go near the cauldron. Am I close to the cauldron? This quest is taking me all the way over here. What quest is this? How did we get back on this? Thought I was on this one. That's the one I wanted to do. Yeah, if, um... Is that what the Corrupted Zone is? Is that the Cauldron? No? It's in this mountain. I don't see it on the map. I'm not sure if I care about that right this second, Dale. I'm definitely going to do it. But I kind of want to see this quest through first, and then we can look at other stuff. Let's go get this flower. It's right up there. Oh, wait, is this the entrance? Like, right here? Like, literally right here? Hmm, 13% damage coil, that's not bad. Yeah, I don't know if I should really, uh... If I should do that right now, because I have, like, no healing left. Except for these potions here. So, speaking of that... Maybe now's a good time to look into crafting some potions. Rich meat and fatty meats. Full health potion. Oh, you know what? I should be doing these instead. As much as I can. And then we also have... These. Oh, and here's those maps I bought. Maps to Vantages, Ancient Vessels, Bannock Figures, and Metal Flowers. There really needs to be a skill that lets you find more healing for your heal pouch. The stuff that you pick up, like this stuff here. Because you really don't find a lot of it. Good. I can use this. And you go through it pretty quickly <laughs> once you get into some of these scraps. I love it when it's easy to find those. Hello, Mr. Sawtooth. I'm just gonna skip around you if that's okay. Corrupted Scrappers. Have I ever looked outside and felt like I was at a party? <laughs> this guy is literally lighting up three times a second. I've seen I've seen that occasionally, yeah. We don't get that a lot here in Denver, but we definitely got lightning storms like that back in Pennsylvania where I used to live. No question about it.
Daybreak. Yesterday's gone. What? What the hell did Aloy just say? <laughs> I see a fire. I gotta hit that up. Um. Um. Just Here kidding. Come. Just kidding. Corrupted watchers. Jackass. Do you think I was kidding when I whistled for you to come over here? Ooh, I'm a machine. I'll just do whatever I want. Programming be damned. Why do I have to whistle for these guys twice? Idiots. Fuck! Oh, the corruption was damaging me. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't know it worked like that. That complicates the issue. Big time. Doing this the old-fashioned way, guys. Because I just don't really have the extra healing to do this the crazy way right now. Oh my god, there's more. I completed a corrupted zone. So it's literally about just going in and taking out every corrupted machine you see. I can dig that. Yes, we leveled up. No, we can't buy anything, so... No point going in and looking at that right now. Get all these machines out here, man. A lot of broadheads. I just think it's so cool how so many of these are modeled after, like, real dinosaurs. The broadhead, I assume, has to be modeled after... Uh, I don't know the name. But they talk about it in one of the Jurassic Park movies. Like, one of the scientist guys is going on and on about how, like... There's a breed of dinosaur where when it lowers its head, uh, its its neck muscle lines up exactly with its vertebrae or something like that, and it becomes this super shock-absorbent structure, so it can just, like, just bash into people with its head all day. And I imagine that that's what they were drawing inspiration from when they made that. It's very cool. Oh, there's a vantage nearby. And two teeth bandit camp. Maybe we should work on that while we're up here too. All right, where is this vantage point going to be? I wonder. Black smoke, red tatters, more bandits like the ones at Devil's Thirst. Oh, bother. Oh. 
That looks promising over there. It'd be cool if there was an upgrade to expand the range of your focus as well. I'd go for that pretty early on. Chill water, fast travel packs, all kinds of good stuff. I love it. A pocket shit storm tour, day eight. Holy crap. That glitched out lifter that crushed your arm and clavicle. Back before you met Wyatt. That was in a mine back beyond these falls. Oh, what a punk I was. Sometimes it's a real pain in the ass getting these to activate. Look, you see the prompt right there. Click the stick. Nothing. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's so cool. Dude, how badass would that home be? Wouldn't you love to live there? Right on top of that cliff with the waterfalls and everything? Man, that would just be awesome. Somebody once had a beautiful home, and now it's nothing but a bandit camp. So I don't know if I can do this right now. Does this have a... Oh, it says level 9. We should probably be okay, right? I just don't have a lot of healing, but as long as I can just kind of... take these guys out methodically, it's probably not an issue. We'll get some decent XP for it. Uh, now, I wonder if that guy is around here. That bandit hunter, that really intense dude. I wish it would remove these from the map once you're at that spot. That'd be nice. Right. Bandit Thug. So here's the question. How many of these dudes can I tag at one time? Seems like a lot, actually. Oh, that guy's a heavy. Jeez, okay. <laughs> they gotta deliver all the shopping to you and it has to have a good internet connection. I respect that. I feel pretty much the same way. Yo, a local uh, grocery store near me recently started doing um, free pickup when you order online. So you, you literally buy your groceries online and then you just drive to the store, park in a specific spot, and call them to be like, hey, I'm here, and they just bring it out to you. There's no extra charge, you just pay for the price of the groceries, and they bring it out and put it in your car, and it is the greatest thing I've ever experienced in my life. I love it so much. I love not having to go into the store. Bad day for one of us. Jesus, man. Dude saw me for like two seconds. Get the signal going. Trouble's on our ass. Get it together, you sawed-offs. It's time for you to... Okay. Jesus Christ. 
on a cracker. And I'm dead. I know, I know I was visible. I just, I didn't expect him to get triggered that quickly. Normally there's like a lead up, there's like a, huh, what is that? That seems like not the best place to go in. An old gate, broken long ago. So this was the north border, before the war with the Karja. Okay, now I'm a little bit above, I guess. Why did you have to untag everybody? Honestly, that's just mean. Really? Whew, okay. So, what's the other kind of precision arrows? Are these just regular arrows that have better range? And should I be using these for stuff like this? See, it almost seems like not even worth going through and tagging everybody, because if I die, it's going to undo all my work anyway. And that feels bad. Feels very, very bad. This doesn't even zoom in. They have better damage, and yes, in fights, not necessarily for headshots. Okay. So... That's weird. The regular arrows work better for stealth engagements. They're still looking. Someone's out there killing us. Look. Got like no cover. That alarm will wake up the whole camp and more besides. Here we go, finally. Oh no! What? Dude, fuck that! We've taken those travelers captive. If we don't rally, we're scrapped. Keep fighting! Help is coming! So many of them. I'll get this open. Hold on. You guys gonna like help me out? Hold on. I'll get you out. Great. High frames, bitch. <laughs> Suck it. Die. Yeah, I got him. All right. I also just remember one of the best pieces of advice I got for combat in this game. Whoa, what the fuck's going on? Did they just kill the prisoners? Pro tip, if you have your focus on, you can use the tiny square in the middle to line up the headshot. Oh, 
Okay. I couldn't tell if they killed those people or what. Uh, but no, one of the best tips I got for combat is that when it comes to aiming your bow, apparently charging up the shot, like so, like, you know, fully drawing the bow, only factors into the accuracy. It doesn't do anything for the damage. And even if you just tap the trigger, your shot will still land in the circle, the reticule there. So if you're really up close on somebody, it actually makes a lot more sense to just, like, quick fire like this. Well, that's not landing in the circle, so whoever told me that lied. But I still get the gist of what they were saying. <laughs> it's like you're not going to take a damage reduction from not charging the whole way. So if you're really close to somebody, you should just let it fly. I wish I could bring this weapon with me. Fire spitters are awesome. Close enough, yeah. <laughs> Stocking up. And then you said with the focus. Oh, the little square in the middle. You can't aim when that's on though. So you gotta line it up first, and then take the shot. I got you. I got you. Just make sure you don't move after you start aiming. Good tip, Dale. Thanks. Let's check this merchants. See what they got. Rattler. So I remember I bought the Rattler in my first playthrough and thought it was garbage. I don't know if that's a thing I should really worry about in this playthrough. Oh. Hold on. Free sample box. I didn't realize we could buy arrows in here, too. That's really good to know. If I don't feel like crafting. I can just go in and spend shards on stuff. You used it almost never. Gotcha, yeah. I probably won't mess with it. I remember not being crazy impressed with it when I tried it. Um... Where's a bellow back? I really want to buy this outfit. This one protects us from corruption damage. That could be good too, since I'm starting to run into that. I think I'm going to buy this. And which one do I have equipped right now? Nora Brave. All of them are useful? Yeah, I, I'll get them all eventually, I think. So this is a little protection from melee, I guess, and a little protection from freeze. Or no, those are the effects I'm getting from the mod, isn't it? Yeah. Don't really have great mods to throw in this one right now. But I guess, eh, it's, it's better than having nothing, right? Why not throw them in there? Anything else going on in this area? 
Imagine trying to live in a place like this after bandits have been in here and done this kind of shit to it. Like all this gnarly architecture everywhere. Spikes and red paint. Probably some corpses laying around here and there. We may be outcasts, but now we can find fellowship thanks to you. Oh, you think I should equip that outfit right now, too? Oh, I see how this works. It adds it onto the existing effect. Yeah, this is like a huge jump up, isn't it? I lose out on the, the freeze protection, but like, whatever. Oh, that's pimp status. Look at that. I actually wish I could take that helmet off. I'm not a huge fan of that helmet. But whatever. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, Dale. I'm probably not gonna ever think to do that in the middle of combat. Unless I'm like really getting my ass kicked, then I might go in and swap them out. But generally speaking, I'm probably just gonna leave on what I got. Until it becomes necessary. Smooth Ancient Charm, what is that? What is a Smooth Ancient Charm? Oh, it's resource. Okay. Use for selling. I'll need to swap outfits mid-battle often. Oh, that sucks. I just don't think to do that in the middle of combat, you know? I'm not used to playing like that. Alright, let's... Blow through this real quick. It's not a whole lot here to sell, actually. Good enough. How have I been playing for almost two hours and we still haven't made any story progress? That's just absurd. But I have to stop and pick up stuff when I see it, Dale. I have to. It's there, man. Also, it's kind of hard to tell whether it's uh, Ridgewood or medicine stuff until you get close to it. So. I'll find a use for you. <laughs> Maybe I can upgrade my uh, resource bag again. Weapons. Oh, look, we can increase the weapon satchel, too. Oh, that's so cheap. I'm just gonna do this while I'm in here. Because that costs, like, nothing. So why not? Rope caster ammo, trip caster. Oh, sharp shot bow quiver we should do, for sure. I gotta start hunting more things. We need meat for a lot of this. And we need one boar skin for another resource satchel upgrade. Alright. Come on, man. They were all clustered up like that. <laughs> mm. 
made it to Day Tower Gate. Can't be too prepared. Yes, keep the medicine coming. The Karja Fort looks solid. A little too solid to talk my way past. Are these guys going to be hostile? Because I thought we were trying to make nice with the Karja folks. I come in peace, dudes. No passage west and no exceptions, so long as corrupted machines prowl the valley. Then why don't you do something about the infestation? We have! We sealed the border! Fine. I'll come back once I've destroyed all the corrupted. <laughs> huh? <laughs> if you're serious, then may you go in light, girl, and the sun guide your arrows. Thanks. That guy's intense. Snow. It's not getting any warmer out here. I can't sell the Ridgewood, really? Oh, that's a shame. Alright, I'll... I'm gonna still go look at, at look at them and pick them up when I need medicine for my pouch, because it's hard to tell until you get close anyway. Once my medicine's full, I'll try to stop. How the hell am I supposed to get to that place? They won't let me by. It's probably because I cleared all the corruption zones before getting here. So I gotta go back and clear all the zones. Meaning I gotta go all the way back here. That's annoying. But I guess we needed to do it anyway. Let's go handle it. Oh. Okay, from here we just need to go up yonder. Luckily, I do have a good amount of healing now. This feels so much better, like, now that it's actually running relatively well. It still chunks up here and there, but... It, it really is crazy, guys. This is like... It's like day and night right now. Compared to the, the last couple times I played and the way it's running now. It's just so much better. I wonder if I could get in there without being spotted. Those machines. Nice. You can see the corruption coming off them like smoke. Time to clear them out. Oh, now we get the tutorial. <laughs> to clear a corrupted zone, kill all corrupted machines in the area. Clearing a zone permanently removes it from the map. Very good, very good. Why don't you step over here, sir? I've got something I'd like to discuss with you, if you don't mind. Whoa. Okay. Corruption's a cool effect. I like it. Okay, this guy wants a flame arrow. Too easy. Too easy, I say. Level 16! Got one. All 
Alright. What's next, guys? Strike from above could be cool. Especially for clearing out forts. That could be a really fun thing to do to, like, human enemies. This hasn't really come up a lot. There's not a whole lot of ropes around the areas I've been hanging out in. This is very situational. I love those weapons, but you don't really get the chance to use them. Precision is probably the best bet right now, right? Looking at you with my capped out level 60. <laughs> I'll get there, man. I'll get there. Mount repair. I think I'm going to go for precision. Oh, there's a strike from below skill, too. Look at that. Strong strike. Oh, wow, that makes, like, all those attacks better. That's cool. Dodge prowess. Okay. Extra concentration would be really good. Double shot. Oh, wow, we can do that on all bow weapons. That's cool. Also good. This this third tree here is what's up. I like everything in this tree. Haven't even come across traps yet, but okay. Nice. What is this repair thing? That hasn't even come up yet at all. Increases resource inventory slots by 20%. Okay, that seems like a good one to get to. medicine. Damn it. Oh, there's some. Keep that for later. Are these watchers? Nope, they're grazers. Oh, well, no, there are some watchers here. Let's try and get that tutorial. I think there's only two of them here, which sucks. But maybe I can make it happen anyway. Why didn't that count? Why the fuck didn't that count? Precision arrow. I'm using the wrong arrows. Motherfucker. I get it. I get it. I didn't think they would make me use that bow, because I didn't even have that until, like, ten minutes ago. If I start the hunting trials, the machine zone resets. Oh, really? I'm not that worried about it. Let's, um... What is this up here? It's a side quest we never picked up up here, apparently. We'll get it eventually, man. We'll find some watchers. I'll find a use for you. Like these ones right over here. Okay, precision.
Why didn't... What? Oh my god. Okay. I thought these arrows were supposed to be stronger. Fuck. Dude, settle down. All right, new plan. Fuck. Come on. Ugh. This is not going my way. Definitely not scrap. Okay, we just need one more. Probably not gonna be any up there. Hold on, there's gotta be one like right down here. These are all broadheads. God damn it. Wow, I suck with this. Turns out. Watcher. There, finally. Okay. Screw everybody else. I'm leaving. You really want to do this, Holmes? that be a lesson to you. Just stay out of their way for now. I'm skyrimming my way up here. Yeah. Awesome. Come on. I don't have many shards. My lives are on the line. You're right. Mine if I go looking for your friends. So pay up or shut up. Without these explosive arrows, they'll be torn to shreds. Not my problem. Unless someone wants to pay me to pick up the pieces. How could you be so cold? <laughs> Where I come from, that's a compliment. <laughs> See you around. Excuse me, sir. Couldn't help but overhear you say something about explosive arrows. Sounds like you have friends in danger. Employees, not friends. A caravan on its way to trade with a Banuk along a trail that swarms with machines. I made sure they were well stocked with explosive arrows, but by the sun, they left them behind. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll handle that for you. Just leave them with me. What sort of machines swarm the caravan's trail? Scrappers and long legs, from what I hear. But there have been stories of something worse. Something that strikes with no warning. Without explosive arrows, they won't stand much of a chance. Why would they leave their best ammunition behind? I don't know. But Mazavid, the caravan boss, isn't the sort of man to make mistakes. I brought the crate, hoping to catch them here, and barely got past the border before the commander sealed the gates. But for me to track them deeper into the wilds would be suicide, especially with those corrupted machines infesting the land. This is gonna be one of those deals where, like, I'm way over-leveled from side quests, and then when I do get back to the main quest, it's, like, ridiculously easy. If I come across the caravan, I'll do what I can to help. Well... That's more than any of the worthless bums hanging about this dung pit offered. <laughs> Here, take the ammunition I stockpiled for the caravan. Yeah! Be sure to need it. And may the sun shine upon you. I'm definitely not going to use it all before I even find them. Don't worry about that. Oh, I can't even use it, can I? It's like a quest item. Rather than 
an actual item. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll unlock them from completing the quest, though. I would like that. Do all the side quests be super OP for main story? Yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. There's just so much side content. And I don't like leaving it behind. Alright, how many quests do we have now? We have two main quests. Which we've left in the dust a long time ago. They're level 12. Under-equipped is level 10. Jesus. Okay. Let's go do this, then. That's all the way over there. That's in the completely opposite direction. But it's not crazy far, I guess. Oh, there's something up here. Some kind of collectible that I haven't messed with yet. Pretty high up the mountain, it seems. Maybe I'll go try to find that. Spoil your fun. Put an egg for breakfast. And it's not sitting well with me. Keep your walk. Thank you. Alright, I don't know what a Bannock figure is. Or how exactly I get up there to find it. But let's see if I can figure it out. Something tells me there's, like, a correct way to get up here, and I am not doing it right now. Got some ropes up here. Man, this would be so good for your calves. Aloy's a beast. Um. Whoa, hold up. Okay. It's not like shitty side content. At least there's some story to the quest. There is. It's not like... It's not going to win any awards for the story, but yeah. From the settlement, find a mural and some yellows. Oh, it's a mural? That, that's what this stuff is? That's the indicator? Listen, I make my own path, okay? Can't tell me what to do. Bannock artifact, I name you. A relic of some kind. Probably Banook. Banook? A wooden artifact le <coughs> left an offering under a tribal mark along with a strip of parchment bearing handwritten glyphs. Sets of such artifacts can be traded in Meridian for valuable rewards. They keep saying that for like all this, all these collectibles that I'm picking up. And I hope it's worth it. Just walk onto the ropes? I feel like I tried that before and it didn't work, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Now. I don't like that they put icons like this on the map, but don't tell you what it is. Cauldron Sigma. Oh, that's where the cauldron is. Straight line ropes. Yeah, I, I know what you meant. 
Well, shit. Okay. Well, if we're going over this way anyway, maybe we'll stop and do the cauldron then. Especially since I actually have healing now. The Sundom. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it myself. Sure would be nice to have a strider. Sure wish there were some of those hanging around. There sure aren't, though. Let me just double check. What was that last tutorial I have right now? Uh, remove machine parts using Tear Blast arrows. Oh, Tear Blast. That's easy enough to do, isn't it? I guess, I don't know if that works, even if they're not weak to the Tear Blast, but... Let's find out. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. That was easy. <laughs> that was really easy. All right. Jesus. Ow! Fuck you! gonna keep doing this? Idiot. Oh no, my frames. They give them and then they take them away. There's so many people here. What the fuck? Got another shot. Look who these folks hurt. are. <laughs> but I'm happy to blow them up. As they deserve. Really? Give me that meat. I didn't realize how much stuff used meat for crafting. It looks like Lubavod's men had to abandon some of their goods. What? Ooh, Striders! Are you a Strider? You are. Come over here, buddy. Awesome. Dude, did it put me back on that other quest again? What the fuck? Stop doing that. That's so annoying. watchers. I hope they haven't run into anything worse. I mean, if they can't handle Watchers and Striders, they probably shouldn't even be out here in the first place. Am I right? You there! I hope you've come to help. 
Because we're getting slaughtered out here. Because we suck at everything. Come save us. Lubavad sent me after you. Oh, I see. And did he happen to tell you why he packed us a crate of Ridgewood instead of decent ammunition? Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> Three waves of watchers and scrappers so far. And worse to come. Without that ammo, we're good as dead. <laughs> that sucks, man. If only somebody could help you out with that. Lubavad didn't say anything about Ridgewood. He said you left the ammunition behind. Then the old fool has gone cross-eyed. Every crate we loaded, I checked twice. The glyph said ammunition. But when we opened it, it was full of Ridgewood shafts and nothing but. So craft. Come on, man. I craft all the time. Lubavad sent me because he was concerned for your safety. The only thing that frightens Lubavad is losing an investment. We do the work, he counts profits. Hmm. All right, well, luckily for you, your guardian angel is here. I have the ammunition with me. Enough for everyone. By the sun. We might just stand a chance after all. Alarms! Long leg approaching! Long leg. Oh, shit. Two arms! Two arms! I don't know what a long leg is! Okay. <laughs> let's, uh, <laughs> let's take a look in here. It is weak to shock on the body. So a trip caster would probably be good. Uh, oh, you hate these? Uh, don't tell me that, man. Okay, their weird feather things are weak to tear. So is the power cell. Actually, these things are weak to a lot. Look, the concussion sack is weak to everything. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's about right. Whoa, okay. That does the rooster kick thing. Don't rooster kick me, bro. <laughs> All recon machines killed. There's got an achievement for killing all recon machines? Hey, he just attacked Nacho. Fuck you. You stop that. Stop it right now. What is this thing? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, you're still alive. Nacho, be careful. Don't die, man. Now I see why I would want that repair skill. This is the first time this whole game I've actually wanted it. <laughs> Alright, so we're all good here then, right? Never know when I might need these. Just got a lot of stuff to pick up. <laughs> you didn't do anything, Nacho Libre. My ride, Nacho, was getting attacked, and I didn't like it. And I don't have the skill I need to repair him. How many points do I have? None. Oh, jeez. Hmm. 
You fight well, Outlander. I'm surprised Lubavard was willing to pay for someone of- He didn't pay me, actually. I did this for free. Never trust the Karja merchant. Boss! The song cores are gone! What? That's impossible. Unless... Unless Dereed took them. When the first wave hit us, one of the men ran off. Dereed. I thought he was a coward. Turns out he's a thief, too. He couldn't have gotten far. True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get him for you. But this time, I get paid. Yeah. Quick learner, With eh? explosive arrows. Fine. Bring those song cores back and you've got a deal. Song cores. Okay. I will say this for the side quests. They're usually pretty long and involved. A lot of them, like... They, uh... They seem like they're just gonna be, like, fetch quests. And then, you know, they, they still kinda are, but... Then they usually, like, evolve into something more as well. Which is cool. Resist Corruption Weave. Nice. Um, okay, so that has to be for my s outfits, right? Which means I should just stack... So, okay, is it generally a good idea to stack the same kind of benefits onto an outfit? Like, this is my Resist Corruption outfit. Should I stack extra corruption resistance on there? Or is it better to kind of have a mix of stuff? You figure if you're going to specialize in something, you should just try and specialize in it, right? That's what makes sense to me. Yes, generally, it is good to stack. Okay, I think I'll do that then. Now this thing has, like, 76 resist corruption. That's why you swap mid-battle. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, find to read is right in front of me. Where? Where's to read? Don't want to push my luck, stranger. But to read gets further away every second. You sure about that? Woods. Roots and trunks. Because it seems like he's not anywhere near here. Even though this is where it's telling me to go. I don't know. We're close to the cauldron, though. Focus and track. That makes sense. Uh, okay, let's do that then while we're here. I guess I can probably do this while I'm still riding, right? This guy's gonna die if he just gets even peed on by a wild animal. He's got no health left at all. And I don't remember how to slow down when I'm at full speed with these guys. I can hop off. But I don't know how to make him stop. Ooh, Bellowback! We discovered a machine site, guys! 
And I need a Bellowback thing for the thing I want. That's awesome. What the hell was that light over there? Okay, I don't know what's going on over there. Hello, Dorit. Who are you? The caravan sent me. The caravan? What caravan? The one you sabotaged. You figured no explosive arrows meant no survivors, no witnesses to your crime. Look, stranger, I have debts. If I don't pay, the dicers will gouge out my eyes. Sounds like your problem. Oh, shit! Um... Stalker? Okay. There's, they're throwing a lot of new machines at us, guys. Hard outer casing to protect synthetic muscle and operational systems. Body's weak to shock. Dark gun on the back is weak to tear. So is his butt. And his stealth... He has a stealth generator? That's cheating. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So basically just hit him with uh, tear arrows. Okay. Ow. Yep, he can make himself go invis invisible. That's gonna be rough. Where is he? Ah. It's really hard to get a good shot in on this guy. Dude, he's accurate as balls. And I'm on the wrong arrows, God damn it! I tried to select the tear arrows and I must have misclicked or something. I was like, why isn't this working? Got him. Okay, so now he shouldn't be able to... Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Uh... Yeah, hey, what's up, Groobs? How you doing? Okay, everything that could have went wrong there went wrong. Most of it's on me. Let's do a better job. This guy does not fucking miss. Why didn't that work? Is he laying mines? Is that those are mines, aren't they? Okay, components are off, so now I should just use regular arrows, right? I have a better idea. Oh. 
I wonder if that would have just killed me outright. Even at full health. Got him. Whew. Looking good. Tough fight. All right, hold up. They are dangerous. Some parts you have hit with the tear multiple times to take them off. So it's like everything else. They have like that circle meter for the elemental effect, right? I gotta get used to that. That's a, that's kind of a weird mechanic, honestly. They are mines. Don't try to melee these guys. Well, that's how I killed them. Was with melee. So what up? <laughs> And precision arrows when I want to deal more regular damage. Okay. Oh, they don't have a meter? Why does rope have a meter, but that one doesn't? I don't get it. I don't get it. Is that all the loot? I guess one disadvantage the trail. to knocking the components off in combat is that you risk missing them when you're looting afterwards. Can I talk to him on the mount? No, that's a shame. I like games that let you do that. The caravan. Did they live? Yes. I got to them in time. <laughs> Thank you. As I turn and embrace the sun, may he burn away my sins. What a waste. At least he died better than he lived. Did he? Did he? Well, I'm taking his shit anyway. Got the song cores, whatever that means. All right, let's deliver this stuff back, and then. There's a signal here. I gotta figure out how to stop with this guy. Um, I definitely want to go check out the cauldron. And... Aloy mentioned a signal. Is that another tall neck nearby? Oh. Unidentified signal. Okay. Ooh, is my health actually full now? I'm soon enough. That is awesome. I like that a lot. You're back. And with the sound cores, I see. And Dorid? A, uh, stalker got him. It wasn't pretty. And you beat a stalker. That's worth a bonus. Here, take my share. You've earned it. I'll see to the caravan from here. I think the rest of the trip will go smoother. Awesome. We got a remarkable reward box. In XP. Outfit weave. Nothing crazy from what I can see. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it probably feels like you've missed a lot. I have been streaming for like two and a half hours today, but we haven't really made any story progress or anything like that. It's just been side quests and all this other random shit. So yeah, I would say you actually really haven't missed a whole lot. <laughs> Alright, um, about that signal. I'm gonna assume this is another tall neck. Cauldron Drow was talking about. There's gotta be a way in. Oh, somehow. no, this is the cauldron. Okay, um, do we want to do this now? We also found that bellow back site. Now I don't see it. But I need to kill one of those things. Why would it pop up and say that I found it if it's, it's not going to put it on the map? Right by the viewpoint, it is on the map? Just east of me on the road? Oh, there. Okay. Thanks, guys. Don't know how I missed that. Probably because I'm an idiot. All right, so that's on the way to where we were going anyway. We'll do the cauldron first. Assuming I can do this without dying. Apparently, this is, like, pretty hard. And I've been spotted. Hello. I can take out the watcher is relatively easy now. Just gotta land that shot right in the eyeball. Didn't really want to lose all that health already though. That's why you buy stealth outfits. I I will as soon as I get the stuff I need. Quite a door. But how to open it? This seems like an important place. What was that bitch talking about, though? She made it sound like this was a place that she almost fell into. You can't fall into this. Wow. Definitely some ancient tech stuff going on. Okay. 
I can't tell if you guys are messing with me right now or not. And I don't like it. This is cool. I don't know what's going on, but this is cool. This is like something out of the movie Alien. The original one. That thing looks like a triangular pipe. What's it for? Damaging event creates a stealth area. Oh, we've got machines in here. Come on. Okay, I'll take that. Whoa. I thought I'd go on forever. Magnetic container rail? Seems like the better way to handle that. Shoot the vents. Those things are moving components around. I wonder where. This place has such a cool design. Like, it's so different from that cave from our childhood. It seems like even more advanced. I don't know how to get to that watcher up there. And I kind of hate the idea of leaving him alive. But I guess I have to right now. me on this fucking main quest again. I'm really tired of that. Why does it do that? Oh wow, cauldrons have their own freaking entry in here. Look at this. Explore the cauldron and discover the secrets within. Sigma overrides and skill points. Sigma override, does that mean I'll get the ability to override a new type of machine? Because I would enjoy that. It's a vent tutorial watcher. Oh, gotcha. It puts you on the main quest when you complete the currently active quest. Maybe that's what's been going on. I guess I never did go in and like specifically select this, so... Fair enough. Yeah. <sighs> 
kind of kooky. Override. What? Oh. Oh. So I probably could have pieced together that <coughs> um, I'm going to be able to override a new kind of machine because we're using the override tool to get in here and get around. It's the exact same tool, right? Must be crazy seeing this stuff and having like no understanding of technology. Like, think about it. Aloy doesn't know what the fuck a microchip is. She probably only has a very basic understanding of electricity. She has no idea like what a circuit is. It looks like those flying machines move components around. Yeah, I completed the explosive arrows one, but I didn't get explosive arrows. So I'm pissed. <laughs> Check it out. Might regret this. No, this is fine. True. Machines are built in these places. But why? By who? loot over there. I go as far as this thing will take me. Okie dokie. Go to the cauldron core. So this answers some questions. There's a... Uh, there's that one statement that magic is just science. Yeah, exactly. It's like that. So we've confirmed that machines are making new machines. That's why these things get replenished and keep showing up. But we don't know if there's somebody pulling the strings behind the scenes? Running the machines that are making the machines? Or if they've just been going for so long? because they're programmed that way. Why the fuck can I make that jump? Oh, do I have to ride this thing over? Suck.
Wow, that alerted a lot of them. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, it's not the shell walker. Fuck. No. Alright, well, he lost interest, so whatever. I'm going to take out all these things, aren't I? Really wish I had that strike from above skill right now. Wow. What? Okay, I didn't know it could do that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. a lot. Okay. That was good. Whatever I just did there. Those guys aren't exactly, like, tough, in the sense that they're, like, really strong, but having that shield up and the fact that they're just, like, constantly moving towards you makes them kind of intimidating. Like, they just never stop crab walking at you, you know? Yeah, I definitely would... Uh, I was trying to take its claws as quick as I could. Turned out it had some defenses in place. <laughs> How do we get up there? Works for me. Yeah, shock resistant outfit would be nice here, but I just don't have components. I've got plenty of shards, but they're stingy with the other trading components that you need. Um, I actually feel like the game's running relatively well. Is the stream having problems? It's not showing me any issues. Dude, I, I, I had the same thing, Groobs, for a second. I was like, oh, is that a Watcher? No, we're good. <laughs> That's funny.
So I guess cauldrons are like dungeons, basically. You do want to buy endgame stuff at the beginning of the game? You said you mean you don't want to buy endgame stuff at the beginning of the game? Maybe you don't, but I do. <laughs> well, I just I just feel like it's weird to make that stuff like available for purchase this early in the game, but then gate it behind an item. It's like, why not just not unlock it until later? That's confusing as a player, you know? I mean, yeah, of course I want to buy endgame stuff right now. Like, who wouldn't? I want all the good stuff. This place blew away your theories of what was happening. I don't really have any theories yet. I have wondered if, um, if Aloy might be a clone of the lady that we saw in the flashback, the people, the lady that those other, um, that other tribe was trying to kill. Instead of being, like, her daughter or her mother or whatever. I don't know why they would clone that lady. But we have a pretty close DNA match to her, so... This place seriously looks like something out of, like... Woven out of light. There are signals coming from all over the place. There's a fire bellow back! I need this. He's weak to freeze, which makes sense, but I don't have... I have freeze... I might have some freeze traps. But I don't have... Freeze arrows. Blaze canister. Okay, so we should aim for the canister. But it's like on his dick. Cargo sack is weak to all. Okay. Oh, that's a big, big weakness there, actually. Same with the gullet. Okay. Discharge pylon? Energy emission tower of unknown design may provide access to the facility's central processor. Same with that. So I'm going to have to fight this thing. That'd be my presumption here. Gonna need all this stuff. <coughs> Just talk to it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's watchers down here too. Take them out ahead of time. Okay. I've never used the traps before. How did these things work? Okay. I'll just leave that there.
Okay. Probably should have set these up ahead of time. I'm stuck here. Ah! Ah! Oh god, don't flame me, bro. Okay. Love it when they do that shit while I'm trying to set something. Okay, I've hit this thing with so many of these tear arrows. And it still has all shit attached. I guess I just gotta hit it with a bunch more. There we go. For some of it. happened to it there. Get out of here. Good bitch. I feel like this is just not working anymore, so let's just do this. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. Got him. Woo! The sack and gullet don't tear off? How would you know that? Because they, they light up like all the other stuff that will come off, so... Plus 49% handling coil. That's pretty sweet. Should definitely throw that on. Something. I'd have to leave something else behind. Uh oh. Should have sold more stuff, apparently. Um. I never picked up a boar skin. Damn it. Wait, what won't she pick up? The mod. Okay. Just gonna break down 
a couple of them. Tear coil removed. The notebook should tell you about components. See, uh, this whole time I was under the impression that they could all be removed if they show up on the focus. Where is he? Fire bellow back. So it says shoot off this component. Destroying this component disables the ranged elemental attack. So some can be removed and some can be destroyed. Is that what this little symbol here indicates? If it looks like a microchip or like a processor, it can be destroyed. If it looks like a 3D cube, it can be removed. Gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. Good to know. The game didn't really expressly tell me that. So I was just like, why won't this stuff come off? Like, I wasn't sure if that was the whole boss fight right there. Like, you just got to keep hitting them with those arrows till that stuff pops off. Or what? Oh, I can't pick these back up either. That's okay. Well, it feels good to get one of those things under my belt. So which ones? Can I override the fire bellowbacks now? Because that sounds kind of amazing. I would very much like to do that. Core log. We've got cauldron core logs. Summary, active production, oversight analysis. Additive manufacturer type, intrusion source external, countermeasure phase shift. Whatever all that means. <laughs> Very cool. You have to learn sort of the same way Ailey would. Eh, I know, I know. I'm not saying it makes it a bad game, I'm just saying it makes it confusing. Because up until now, like, everything had been like that, you know? Everything that gets highlighted in the focus is stuff that can be shot off, as far as I know. And then they throw kind of a monkey wrench at you like that. And they, they even give you, like, these specific arrows that are just good for knocking off components. So I'm like, okay. Well, I'm just going to keep pumping these things into it. Boar. I need you to give me your skin. I hate that it takes three shots to kill these things. Get back here. You annoy me. Uh, boar bone. Gave me everything but a skin. Awesome. Turkey. In the notebook they tell you which machines are which overrides.
skin is blue loot. Okay. I very rarely see that, actually. Get. Mm. Ah, die, motherfucker. All right, so let's check the notebook real quick. Override unlocked for watchers, striders, grazers, scrappers, broadheads, basically all the little ones it seems like, lance horns, not long legs. <gasps> Sawtooth overrides unlock, guys. Yes. Yes. Top right of the top left of the entry it says cauldron, so that tells you which cauldron unlocks it. Looks like it's basically what we've gotten so far is all the little ones. All oh, overrides impossible on the corruptor. It's too bad. Um, all the little ones and Sawtooth. Now, I remember Aloy specifically said that she wouldn't be able to ride all of them, but she might find other uses for some of them. So it does make me curious what we can do. Wait, is this my guy? Wow, I, did, I didn't expect him to still be around. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, and then the tall necks, obviously. Grab some of this healage. And other crafting material, such as it is. Is this the guy who's like borderline dead? That's out of the way. Awesome. Next up. Oh, we're going to run into more bellow backs, guys. Let's go. We can get some practice in. We're going to have a vantage point along the way. And some other shit to deal with. Let's make our way up. Definitely want to find more cauldrons. I can't wait to override a Sawtooth and just, like, see what it does. I'm going to assume that it just messes stuff up for you. <laughs> just goes around and fights your enemies. Oh, come here. Get him. Getting too steep to ride. Yeah, good boy, Nacho. Fuck him up. Yeah, <laughs> I killed him with a mount. <laughs> They're going to be assholes about this skin that I want, aren't they? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
That is a corrupted fire bellow back. Oh boy, that's fun. Oh. I'd really like to hit the save before we engage with that guy. Thank you. Dude, we got corrupted chargers. Bellowbacks. Can I override a corrupted machine? Probably not, because we can't override the corruptor, so. I guess that would be a negative on that. This is a rather challenging site. Yeah. I'm kind of getting that vibe. I am going to give it a shot here. Need the right ammo. Okay. Oh, he's pissed. Whoa, come on, man. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. If we stay like this, Last shot. fuck. Sometimes it's hard to select the arrow you want with this wheel the way it is. There it is. Sucks that uh, you can't, he didn't keep walking forward. I wanted him to trigger that trap, and now it's just kind of wasted. But I can get out of this. It happens sometimes, I guess. Pissed him off. <laughs> Come on, blow up, blow up. Damn it. Why they weren't blowing up, but it doesn't matter as long as they're dead. That's really all I'm concerned with. Only blaze canisters blow up? I thought that's what I was shooting. I think. 
Whatever Aloy was about to say got cut off. Okay. Should only have a couple more to take out, I think. And then we'll get credit for clearing the corrupted area. feels good. Challenging zone, huh? Guess not. <laughs> and the vantage point's right here. Whoa, what is that? Oh, I missed the thing. How do we go play that? Notebook, collectibles. I might recognize this place. Is this what I just got? Oh yeah, this was it. Apaka shit storm tour, day five. The gray swarms open for turtle smash the night I OD'd here. Or so the police report said, anyway. I was 15 years old. When I woke in the hospital, two days later, your face was the first thing I saw. Okay. So this is an amphitheater? I don't recognize that, but... I'm pretty bad with uh, geography and things like that, so it's not really that surprising. Awesome. We cleared out the corrupted area. We got the vantage point. That actually all went a lot better than I expected it would. Is my Strider still alive? No, he's not. Fair enough. Oh, I got that really good, um, weapon mod, too. Should I maybe... <clears throat> should I throw that on one of my bows? This is extra damage. 49% handling. Would you guys... Oh, that's the Red Rocks Amphitheater? I thought it was called something else in there. I probably would have recognized that if, if, if it hadn't said something else. Um, should I put this 49% handling coil on my Karja Hunter bow or my Sharp Shot bow? Or should I save it for when I get a purple level? Definitely throw this on. No reason not to. One says never save the mods, one says save it. <laughs> Handling is excellent on sharp shot. I definitely I want to draw everything faster, honestly. I feel like the, the draw speed's too slow, especially when you're zoomed in. So, yeah, let's do that. 
So this is the Red Rocks Amphitheater. That's actually really fucking cool. I, I still haven't been there. I was supposed to go there this summer. I was going to see Offspring there. And Offspring is one of the few bands I've never seen live, but I really, really want to. They're like one of the last ones on my whole list. And uh, it got COVIDed and I didn't get to go see them. So I've still never been to Red Rocks. Tough, but I'm used to it. <gasps> Salt teeth. Uh, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Stealthy, stealthy. I need stealth. Where, where can I hide? Shit, shit, shit. Oh. Uh, they're like way out in the open, man. I need to override one of them, though. Like, I have to do this. You guys don't understand. I can't just not do this. If this works. Yes, do it, do it, do it! Dude, that's awesome! Can I ride him? No? I'd be so happy if I could ride a Sawtooth. But I can't. Alright, well let's go kill this other guy then. Come on, buddy. Stick with me. No turning back. Yep, I'm over here, idiot. Come on. Dude! <laughs> wow, that was really effective. Yeah, get him, boy! Get him! Fuck him up! <laughs> he did so much damage to him. He fucked his mother, guys. Ah! Oh, I'm so happy! That was awesome. Fuck. Yeah, I am on normal, so maybe that might impact the way we handle mods. Gotcha. I see what you guys are saying. Oh man, this... This stream might be a little laggy. Now that I look... Hmm. It's unfortunate. It's actually running a lot better for me. But, uh, whatever. You guys are used to the shitty frame rate in this game by now, right? <laughs> I guess you guys probably can't even tell, but I'm actually, I'm surprised at how well it's running right now for me. Stocking up. So can I call him over? No? He just meanders around and does his own thing. Helps me out if I happen to be close by. But that's it. Hmm. All right. Devil's grief. Foreboding sight, huh? Don't you ever wonder what it used to look like? Back when the old ones lived here. You're not like other Nora. That's what they tell me. War Chief? Our scouts found enemy camps in the ruins, guarding the approach to the Ring of Metal. Then we should hit those camps first. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps, and our animes in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send braves to each camp to lie in wait. Would you start? 
they'll help finish. Really wish I had a stealth outfit right now. You know what? I, I might actually not do this mission right now. Because we can fast travel right back here and do it when we want. This is Revenge of the Nora. Yeah, I just I really wanted to finish out these other ones first. We can get to Day Tower now. Let's come back here. I want to check a merchant and see what we can get now. Now that we've been out and about for a while. I'm curious if I'll recognize the Ring of Metal. Probably not. <laughs> I'm really bad at recognizing things. Like, I have a terrible sense of direction. I, I don't recognize things if they've been changed slightly. I, I have a hard trouble, I have a hard time even like differentiating people's faces. I've talked about this before. I don't know if I actually have that affliction that people suffer from where they can't recognize way. faces. I've never been diagnosed with anything. But like if I'm familiar with somebody's face and then like they change something, different haircut, lose a little weight, you know, whatever it is, I honestly have a really hard time recognizing the face if it's changed even a little bit. I don't know why. I just do. Back again? Sorry, but there are still corrupted in the valley. Where? Not for much longer. Well, that sucks. I guess we can't do this right now. I haven't even found any other corrupted zones. This is a freaking level 15 side quest. Like. I'll get there with the main story anyway. Fair enough. Yeah, the Clark Kent's disguise actually works with me. <laughs> Sad to say. <laughs> Huh. Okay, well, I guess we can go back to the main quest then. But first, I need to go hit a merchant. Let's go talk to this guy up here. I think he had stuff. I think. <clears throat> Big scary claw man. Shadow Sling. I didn't get the crystal braiding from the f fucking Bellowback that I killed. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Guess I should have paid more attention to that. Okay. Um. Oh no, Bellowback Heart is what I need for this. The stealth outfit. But I didn't get that either. Interestingly enough, so that's that's really cool. All right, we're gonna go kill some more then. I want that goddamn stealth outfit. I want it, guys. Oh, what do you guys want? Leave me alone. Okay, anyway, now what? I'm not here for you. Go away. Yep, he sees me. Okay. That got him good. No, why'd he get up so fast? 
Ah! Ah! Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on. I swear to God, they're like programmed to not walk into the traps. That actually got him? When you don't see the green arrow on your damage, it means you're hitting the body armor, not the component. The green arrow on your damage. Okay, try and keep that in mind. Come on, man. How many of these things am I going to have to kill to get the part I need? Also, I have three skill points. <clears throat> oh, the damage numbers that pop up. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Heavy lifter. I kind of really want this now. <laughs> this one, though, does this one give me an extra chance of getting the good stuff when I loot? It just says extra resources, so I don't know if that means the good stuff or just more of the common stuff. Could go either way. Yeah. Hard to say. Eh, let's get it. We're gonna want it eventually anyway, right? Okay. Need more fire bellowbacks. But if I can't find one, then I'll also take a boar. Maybe we'll get some skins. Let's see if a precision arrow kills a boar faster. Yep, that's better. This game's just like... Not being super generous with the drops that I want right now. Shell walkers. Man, I don't care about shell walkers. Fuck those things. This is not why I'm here. <laughs> Coming back for the trash talk. Nice. Good for an old remedy. Is there really only one bellow back at the site? Mm-hmm. 
Maybe it'll reset if I save here. Strider. <sighs> well, I can get a mount at least, I guess. I know I am. Damn it. You made me do this. I just wanted to ride you. Alright, I guess we just don't get to do that right now, which is uh, really disappointing, but maybe maybe we'll get one when I load the game up. I think I'm going to stop here, guys. I've been streaming for like four hours now. Let's do a save here. And when I reload the game, hopefully there will be another fire dude over here. We can try it again. Um, hope we get what we want. If not, I guess we'll just have to proceed with that mission anyway. Sans a stealth outfit. Probably won't affect things too much. I just thought it'd be fun to prepare that way, you know, but the game has other ideas. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had a blast. I appreciate you guys hanging out on stream with me. And uh, thanks for all the help with the game. You guys have a great Sunday. I will see you when I see you, hopefully tomorrow. Take care.